Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading for June 29th to July 6th. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you like subscribe and you become a part of our collective. This week, the amulet you got was Ishel. And as soon as I started tapping into your energy, Sagittarius, I kept getting the message, align your life, align your life. What is no longer in alignment with who you are? Where do you need to align in your life? What it is it? What is your life purpose? How do you need to step into your life purpose? What are you doing to help you get unstuck? Okay, so let's see what the cards are saying. That was the big download that was coming through. The amulet Ishel is from my jewelry line, Starcy Jewels. All the pieces are designed by me and handmade here in-house. Um, it's got the following crystals. So if you have any of these crystals, make sure you go get them and wear them, meditate with them, hold them, whatever. Or you can pick up the amulet in the description box below. All right, here are the crystals. If you're ready, let's get, let's what? Let's get go. Yeah, let's get go. Okay. We've got blue lace agate, it's got amazonite, it's got rose quartz, it's got citrine, it's got aquamarine, um, and that's it, and amethyst. Okay, one more card, please, here. Gorgeous. I love this. Okay, first, first. First and foremost, let's have a conversation about the fact that you literally have so many major arcana in your reading. Arcana, arcana, I don't know, I say arcana. Sometimes I hear people say the thing differently and I'm like, is it just my ESL, English as a second language, that stops me from saying things in the right way? Waning Crescent, Surrender, Restore, Reflection, Intuition, Stillness. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. The cosmic heart. Devotion, potency. Make your life a moving prayer. Align your life. The star is all about hopes, dreams, and wishes coming true, wish fulfillment, okay? The hermit is introspection, self-reflection, a journey of solitude. The seven of wands is feeling like there's something here to fight for or something worth fighting for. Or, on the other hand, it's feeling very defensive about a particular situation. Now, I feel that you are working really hard through this. I would not be surprised if you're going through a dark night of the soul. I wouldn't be surprised if you're going through a spiritual awakening. I wouldn't be surprised if you are going through a great catalyst moment right now, a whole upheaval of your life, okay? And with the King of Swords, what I'm seeing here is that the universe is trying to show you how to be logical and rational rather than emotional in the way that you approach particular things in your life because there's a lot of delusions here there's a lot of illusions there's a lot of fears and that's causing you to overthink over analyze so many things rather than staying focused and what is your focus your life purpose aligning with your highest expression transforming your life trusting the process trusting that the universe has your back with the magician and temperance everything that you desire is yours these two cards alchemize the powers, the gifts of the universe. Temperance alchemizes earth, its balance, its ebb and flow, its understanding to keep one foot grounded, rooted on earth, and the other one flowing with the energy of the ocean. Have you ever tried to stop the ocean? Have you ever tried to stop water? Have you ever seen what water does to the sand? Water moves earth right? But if we stay grounded on earth, we're far less likely to get pushed over by water while still allowing water to flow through us, right? With the magician card here, you have all the tools available at your disposal. You have the gifts, you have as above, so below, you have the elements, you have the physical, tangible ability and capability to co-create the life that you've always desired, the life that you've always dreamed of, the vision that you've always had. It's available to you. It's possible to you. You have to sit in the energy of hope, optimism, joy, and joyful expectation, which Ishelle is all about. Like, look how happy this bracelet is. The colors here are literally designed to emit joy, okay? You can pick that up in the description box below if you want. 
But how do you get there? How do you get from where you are right now to where you know you need to be? You have to start going to the root. You have to start taking the steps to transform your life. You have to start putting in the additional work. Okay, there is a free values exercise worksheet in the description box below. And if you're interested in taking my Align course, which is a nine week transformative course to help you align with your life purpose and unlock the dream life that you've always wished of love, joy, financial abundance, etc. Um, there's a discovery call link down there as well. Or you can visit the site when you enroll and there's a discovery call so you can make sure that that course is right for you. You can also book a reading with me as well. Okay, and we can talk about it more there. Pay attention to the red flags, free yourself, and playfulness. Let me just whack in the lighting in here. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. This isn't a time right now, Sagittarius, for love, Queen of Swords. Yeah, this isn't a time. This is a time for you to free yourself from the limitations, the fears. Some of you may really be wanting love or may really be thinking about romantic love, a union, a partnership, a connection. What I'm seeing here from Source is that right now is not the time. Right now is not the time, death, yeah, playfulness, because you are transforming. And so if you were to attract love right now, uh, let me share a little story with you, okay? If you were to attract love right now, it wouldn't be the love that will go the distance with you. And I say this because I was somebody who would always look for love. I thought that if I didn't have a romantic partner, if I wasn't in a relationship, if I do, didn't do like the conventional things like getting married, having kids, etc., that then I was a failure, that I had failed at life, that I had failed in my goal and my mission of being a woman, of being uh, a female here on earth. And after I had my son and I became a single mom, one of the things that came became very, very clear to me is that all the relationships I had that didn't work out, all the relationships that didn't pan out and watching these people get married to other people, it all happened for one particular reason. And that particular reason is because none of those exes that I had were the right person for me because I wasn't at my highest expression. I wasn't tuned in and stepped into who I was and my highest expression. And so these people that I were attracting were supporting me in my journey, supporting me in my life. But then there came a point where everything turned and everything changed. And the realization came that it was time for me to be on my own, to discover who I was, to remember who I was, to align with my life so that I could unlock my dream life, which is this now. And then through the healing, through the doing the work, through stepping into my life purpose, then I would be able to attract the right partner for me that was in alignment with who I truly was versus these masks. And with the pay attention to the red flag, I think that's what the universe is trying to caution you right now. The universe is trying to say, hey, listen, right now you're going through deep healing, deep transformation, deep shift. You have to be able to understand that there will be a time of solitude, the hermit. So you can solve a flux, so you can review, so you can assess, so you can get clear, and then allow love to enter into your life. All right. If you want to book a session or pick up your amulet, it's in the description box below. Ditto if you want to go enroll for my Align course, okay? There are payment plans available, and there's a discount code down there just for you. We will see you later. Alligator. Peace out. Bye.